Good evening, it's Wednesday the 1st of September, it's about 8 o'clock, this is the Victoria Basin uh, along from Victoria Channel leading out into Belfast Lock and there's the Stena away in the distance, which Stena is it, I'm not too sure, it's the Stena Embla and just over here is the Azura or Azuru cruise ship parked up. Been here for some time. PO cruises. Azura been here for some time, uh, don't know whether it's been in for refurbishment or, or just uh, cheap parking space um, during this uh, sort of very dry period for the cruise ship industry. Um, anyway, panning on round and we've got the big Amazon uh, depot down here. And it is massive, and the the reality is, folks, that it is putting uh, family shops, businesses, high streets, you know, out of business because Amazon can do next day delivery, and they're cheap, and you don't have to go into town and stand in the rain, and you don't have to pay car parking. But that's another story. I'm not onto that tonight. Um, there's uh, this area is steeped with history. There's the White, White Star House, reminding us of uh, the White Star Company that ran the Titanic and, and uh, all the rest of it. And there's another big uh, stanna down in here. I think it's the Stena Scotia. But anyway, I've come down to video this absolutely magnificent looking vessel. Again, it's a Fred Olsen. And it's the Boulette. Let's have a wee closer look and see the name. Yeah. It's like a French name, that. But this boat is not French built. It was built at um, in Italy by uh, Finn Cantieri, and I'm catching it in the evening light here. Child minding all day, and <laughs> couldn't get out to video this earlier. So this is the Ballette. So what can I tell you about the Ballette? It's well, staying, staying in the guts of two days, which is unusual for any cruise ship coming into Belfast because normally they come in early in the morning and they're away, you know, by half six, seven o'clock at night. So that's very good. Uh, it's owned by P&O, but it wasn't always owned by P&O. And it wasn't always called the Ballette. It, was called the Amsterdam. It's uh, 237 meters long, and it's it, it comes in something around 62,000 tons. It's built in uh, well, it was launched in the year uh, 2000, and it cost 400 million dollars to build. It uh, carries uh, 1,380 passengers and uh, six, uh, 650 crew. It, it holds uh, it holds 
a multi-million pound art collection. I'd love to see that actually. And it's classic and it's elegant style uh, and dears it too many cruise ship passengers. It's spacious and it's comfortable and it's got an all season a pool and what you're getting here is luxury travel folks, luxury travel. Medium sized, not too big, not too small. A lot of people are like that. Because some of these cruise ships are, are really, really massive and they're, they're just, you get lost on them. A oh, lovely boat. Welcome to Belfast. The Bullet. I don't think it's been here before. So I was keen to uh, to video it. Ah, there's a Stena Scotia just making its way past the Bullet. I'm not too sure where the Scotia actually goes to. Is it going over to Liverpool? I'm not too sure. Um, with a, a name like the Stena Scotia, you'd be, you'd be expecting it to be going to, uh, to Glasgow or somewhere like that, you know. But maybe not. I, I just don't know. There, there it is, sidling past. Gives you a better idea of the size of the bullet. Because the Scotia is a fair size of boat. And it's registered in Douglas Isle of Man. Maybe it's head to the Isle of Man. I don't know. Somebody can uh, post in and tell me that. But there you go. That's all the sights and sounds down. Isn't it, isn't it really uh, magical down here at night? Because and there's the guys out fishing. I wonder will they stay, you know, at 12 o'clock or something like that. It's really, really magical here, uh, down here, at this time of night. All the ship's lights on and all the harbour lights on and all the rest of it. And this, the, the light reflecting on, on the, uh, the still calm water. There you go. And I've uh, come up a wee bit on uh, Victoria Channel and this is, I'm, st I'm standing actually in behind the, uh, the Game of Thrones film studio, uh, the Titanic film studios up here where Game of Thrones was, was made, or part of it, and uh, I'm standing beside the walkway couple of guys out in their bikes and there's filming obviously taking place because that uh, big tent is, is there and I saw a lot of new uh, constructions you know old castles across the road so they must be filming something else but isn't this nice this is uh, this is the Game of Thrones uh, one of the, uh, the sort of stained glass windows I never watched Game of Thrones, so I don't know what this is about, which house this is. Oh, what do I say? Game of Thrones. Ah, you can read that for yourself. It's uh, one of the glasses of Thrones, and I've videoed them all. Can't remember videoing this one, mind you. But anyway, uh, I'm down beside HMS Caroline, which lies in here, dealing from the Battle of Jutland and if you ever come to Belfast this is one of the best uh, tours that you'll experience uh, and that's the Titanic pump house down there I'm sure to have done a video on that as well I'm panning on round and there's a lot of people out for walks and stuff there's one of the uh, uh, is that an old mine? Uh, sea mine? I'm not too sure. 
or where those are those boys. There's um, either Samson or Goliath, one of the big cranes. And panning back here, I thought, you know, I'd give you another view of the front end of this uh, magnificent uh, cruise ship. It's uh, the front end of the Boulette. A wee pleasure boat coming in in front of it there. Oh, very nice. Get a very nice view. Wouldn't mind going out in one of those wee boats and seeing around the harbour. This is very picturesque underneath. Napoleon's nose and Cave Hill. <coughs> and the water's like glass. So there's the another shot of the bullet. I'm delighted to get filming this tonight because normally these cruise ships um, are parked up at uh, are moored up at the bay cruise ship terminal and you can't get anywhere close to them to, to see them in their entirety. So uh, well pleased with this. Anybody out on deck? Well probably watching a show or something or other. Or maybe they're tired from dandering around Belfast. Uh, there are some, some people there, is it? Is that somebody standing there? No, it is not. Silly me. Oh dear. <laughs> Should have gone to Specsavers. But isn't the light, light uh, aren't the lights nice? Or, or nice reflection there. Oh, that's classy. Oh. The Bullet. Fred Olson. Belfast. Good to see her. I'm looking down over Belfast and I'm seeing if I can spot this uh, Boulette cruise ship. And that's the waterfront. I mean that's the, the you know the Victoria Channel is just in there. I'm just coming along. And there's the big oil or is it whiskey containers and just along from that and there it is. There's the billet. I think, nearly sure. Yeah. There's the funnel. Now I'm videoing this from uh, the Gildenhurt viewpoint. It's a better night tonight than the other night that I videoed. Looks absolutely fabulous down there. And there is some glow given off by the city lights. Light pollution is a reality, folks, but it's very pretty as well. Nay, nay.